Welcome to Dashway Talks, a show powered by Dashway Consulting, a China-based strategic market research company founded in 2010. Hello, my name is Jasper Zhang, and I'm the HR director at PTL Group. PTL Group provides international companies with operational and managerial support through the various stages of their China market entry and growth. The group's wide range of professional services include financial services. HR management, logistics, and supply chain. In the past 20 years, PTL Group has facilitated over 300 market entry projects for the international companies into China. What is the process for hiring a foreigner in China? Get work permit and the residence permit. For a foreigner to get work permit in China, they need to show at least two years of relevant. Work experience after graduation from college or university. This means that a university degree is required too. By relevant experience, we mean relevant to the position they are going to take in the new company. For example, if your work experience so far was teaching and you are now applying for project manager position in a logistic company, your experience will be considered as relevant. And you might not receive the work permit. There are cases of foreigners who can get work permit without higher education diploma, but the company hiring them will have to supply more explanations. For the hiring and salary paid will have to be higher, which will affect taxes too. We interrupt this show to bring you breaking news of more awesome China business tips. You can find these tips on our other China business channels. We are plugged in to the local business landscape together with China-based entrepreneurs and top managers. Follow our China Paradigms podcast on any platform convenient for you. Find the links in the description. What are the types of visas a foreigner can get in China? There are different visas foreigners can get to China, but only under the working visa. They are allowed to work here. A business visa could grant some working opportunities in China, but it will be limited in length, and the visa holder might be required to explain and show proof of individual income tax paid in their country of origin. It's important to note that the policy against working or receiving some payment for internship even. With the student visa, it's very strict in China, and foreign students shouldn't attempt to get paid jobs without special permission from their university. In case the university is allowed to issue the special permit, there might be other conditions on the payment. The student should be clear and stand in advance. Under which visa a foreigner can work in China? Working in China means your individual income tax is paid in China as well. For that reason, only working visa can grant you the right to work in China as a foreigner. China is issuing Type C, B, A visas to foreigners. The type is decided according to the calculation done of several criteria, such as your Chinese level, expert level recognized in your field, university degree. Pay salary level and sometimes the industry you are working in. Even for example, an expert visa type A can be given to a PhD holder who teaching and doing research at the university. Type B visa will be given normally to small company owners and the employees with Chinese level of HSK three and above. What are the requirements for a foreigner to get a working visa in China? Level A working visa could be given according to the salary level, like minimum of fifty thousand RMB per month, and relevant taxes paid accordingly. It can also be given、uh, to an expert in their field that their work is considered important in China. Level B means two years of relative working experience and at least a bachelor degree. Ah,、uh, there are many details for other levels which can be found with the government. Does a foreigner need to pay social benefits like local employees? Yes. The basic rule is that anyone employed in China, regardless of them being locals or foreigners, 
but as many other laws in China, they are presented by the central government. Local governments can apply different regulations. In Shanghai, for example, the local government decided to leave foreigners the choice if they want to pay such benefits or not. Many choose not to pay and then find other solutions、uh, for health insurance, for example. Those regulations might expire on August 15th this year, although the Shanghai government can choose to extend them even longer. Are there any special taxes for foreigners employed in China? No, but there are special tax exemptions, which will be changed again starting January 2022. Those tax exemptions are for housing, children, education, international flights, and language training. Foreigners working in China could enjoy payment from the companies employing them, yet not being taxed on those benefits as part of their income tax. But all that's going to be changed in January 2022. Under the new tax scheme, which will be similar to all employees working in China, regardless of their nationality, will take the same tax exemptions listed by government. Any questions? We will find an expert to answer them. Drop your questions in the comments or send us an email: dx at dashwayconsulting dot com.